North Korea has unveiled an unusually sophisticated piece of military technology, but is it really showing the level of cooperation between not just North Korea and Russia, but Iran as well? I'm Paul, U.S. Army combat veteran. Let's talk about this interesting story. This is from a couple of days ago, and North Korea released some propaganda footage showing what they're saying is their new uh, one-way drones. I can't use the term North Korea uses because I'll get demonetized. These one-way drones attacking a target uh, meant to resemble a North Korean tank. Uh, now, these photos show a white drone with X-shaped tails and wings, uh, supposedly crashing into and destroying a target resembling South Korea's main K-2 battle tank. Most uh, Now, the North's official uh, press agency said that the test involves various types of drones built to fly different ranges to attack enemy targets on land and sea, flew along routes before hitting accurately hitting test targets right now this is unusual because again north korea is a country that has struggled to build its own ballistic missiles uh and have them function reliably so it seems unlikely that they would on their first try get manufacturing sophisticated combat drones uh 100 correct right of course Kim claimed he was going to uh, invest more in these drones and deploy them throughout the North Korean military. Uh, this amid, of course, uh, a series of exercises between the United States and South Korea. But that's not the really interesting part. And before I talk about the really interesting part, I want to mention that if you feel like you need to enhance your own tech, well, your best bet may not be cloning other countries' drones. It may be getting some strike gum. Right. If you're someone who drinks energy drinks, strike strike gum is the superior energy drink alternative with 90 milligrams caffeine in every single piece and 100 milligrams alpha GPC. This is it's just better than an energy drink in every way. Plus, if you're somebody who can't carry around an energy drink at work, you're a, a, a parent of a young kid, uh, a firefighter, a cop, a nurse, you need your hands free. You can't be hauling around a Red Bull to every job site. So strike gum is the better alternative. You just pop it in, chew it, and you get all the energy of an energy drink. But there's no sugar. It's sugar-free. So you won't get that sugar crash. So if you want, check out strikegum.com. We're made in the USA. We're obviously veteran-owned. I recommend you get the five-pack. Check out the five-pack and that's going to be your best bet. You're going to get a pack for your house, a pack for your office, a pack for your gym bag, and one for your car and one to share with a friend. So you will always have the energy you need wherever you are. So check us out at strikegum.com. Okay, let's talk a little bit more about where suddenly North Korea got these UAVs, right? Now, the the the, the there's an interesting sort of trend here. I'm going to try to find it. Here, here is one of the photographs that they released. Now, I want to make some observations. The first is that these are two unusually shaped UAVs. You can see there's a propeller here, a tail, and then a wide sort of front aerofoil. And this one has an unusual X-shaped wing pattern with a smaller X-shaped wing pattern behind it. Where could these come from? Well, the Israelis are saying this looks a lot like the uh, IDF's Harop drone. And you can see it has the same thing, uh, a front nozzle, a large aerofoil, um, and it appears to have some kind of air like launch assist here. But this munition package would be interesting. This design would be interesting if this is kind of the inspiration for this, uh, because as the Israelis point out, it could mean that that design would have to have gotten to them from Tehran, from Iran, who may have hacked the design from the Israelis, right? If they, for example, captured an Israeli drone, if Hamas did, and then smuggled it out to Iran, that would be an example of, uh, again, Iran would be able to reverse engineer that. Um, but the other target is even more interesting, right? This unusually big X, little X shaped design is a dead-on clone for the Lancet, the Russian-made loitering munition, right? Made by Kalashnikov Company. It's been used in uh, the Syrian Civil War and the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Of course, it's way too expensive to be used at scale, 20000 bucks a pop. Uh, this is, uh, again, sort of like superior in payload and effectiveness, but inferior in cost, right? For the same cost of this, you could buy a 
a hundred, a hundred or so, uh, quadcopter UAV drones. So FPV drones. So again, this is something where it does have a lot of use, but I think the real story here is that North Korea seems to be proudly and the fact that they didn't, they could have censored this. They could have just not taken this photo. The fact that they barely censored it says that they want us, the West, to know that they have these designs. They want to say, look, this is an Iranian clone of an Israeli drone. This is a Russian drone. This is not an accident. These photographs are carefully vetted. The terrible pixelation is not an accident. This is meant to send a message. And that message is that our partnership with the Russians where, as I said months ago, they were giving the Russians a lot of munitions, artillery shells, something they need, and to a lesser extent, personnel, that the other end of that is almost certainly technology. And it's bringing the North Korean military, which is already large but stuck firmly in the Cold War, bringing it in to the 21st century. And that is something I think is worth worrying about. That's all I had. Please subscribe to the channel. That makes a difference for me. Um, also, thank you to our Colonel Tier members, particularly James Sterling, Steve Moran, Doug Beck, Alan Nitsin, Bastian Himmelianko, George F. Delma Combs, and James Ola, as well as all the Lieutenant Tier folks. Couldn't do it without you guys. I appreciate you all so much, and I will see you all in the next one. Cheers.